this uh, episode we're going to talk about our warping board. Um, we made this ourselves, but you could buy them online or at Yarn Barn or whatever if you live close enough to one or the Woolery, whatever. This one we used uh, scrap wood and the distance from the uh, each peg the outside of each peg is about one yard. So what we did was we used a bunch of uh, two by twos that we had laying around and screwed them together. And we found that leaving edges on the two by twos didn't work very well with the yarn. And so uh, we whittled the uh, edges round. If we did this again, and we probably will because this is starting to fall apart. It, we would use, I would probably use 2x4s and the dowels that they use for closets to hang your things up. Um, the dowels for the closet is my wife's idea. I'll give her credit for that. These are uh, pegs for forming a cross in your warp. A lot of people use these. I don't, but that's why it's not being used right now. But uh, basically you start at one end and you measure off and it's measured off one, one yard per peg and we have 11 yards measured off for this one. Uh, for a kilt we'll need a few more to account for loom waste and stuff so we need to modify this if, we, if it lasts that long if we built do a quilt. But for this pattern right here, it's the Mackay pattern like we did in the first episode. Um, it has, um, we got the pattern from the Tartan Roastery and I wrote it down so I could keep track of uh, how many threads are for each color. And I, uh, so I wrap it around. I, uh, I, tie, I don't really tie, but thread every uh, yard with, with a crisscross of uh, yarn so that it'll uh, be to keep it from getting tangled or to discourage tangling from the yarn. Um, having a, uh, this pace here, they uh, put crosses on and uh, that helps too in keeping it from getting tangled. And so basically right now, I've every five threads of one color, I'm tying off or I'm uh, wrapping with the thread and then I start over again and wrap. Then I start over again and wrap more thread. This is uh, 82 cotton uh, yarn that we got from uh, I think two different places, but it's, uh, no. All from the woolery. All from the woolery. And so what I do is just sit here and. So what I do is I just sit here and wrap it around. I count off five of five threads and I just go keep going back and forth. I need to do three patterns, three chains like this, and then I'll be ready to warp. Okay, I've counted off five more threads, and so I just, uh, it's not cooperating, but I slide the threads back against the other threads, and the problem with uh, this warping board is that it's bowing in because uh, it's falling apart. And so the uh, threads on the outside, or the inside, the first threads, 
those are going to be looser and longer than the red threads that get wrapped over around when it's uh, bent in like this. So we need another. We need to work on the or improve this. But back to this. I'm hoping that we'll get a full pattern out of uh, of the tartan uh, out of this chain, and then I'll pull it off and do two more just like it. It'll be easier to keep track of things if I could get a full pattern out of this. Okay, so now that I've done that, slid everything back. I just uh, wrap the threads around. And that one took a little longer than it should, but if I want to get this done. I've been working on this since yesterday, not full time, just part time. So yesterday was September 6th, and you could see that it's probably going to be a couple more days before I'm ready to warp the the loom itself which is uh, the warping board is resting right against the loom right now hello um, I'm back this is the 8th September 8th it's been the third day of wrapping this part-time uh, we have Help from the cats, which doesn't amount to much. Now that uh, the pattern, this chain is done, I've gone back and as I mentioned in the other video, I was um, trying to keep this from tangling by, once it's off the warp board, by intertwining threads. And now at the end, I made it easy to remove knot. It's a uh, same knot that I use for uh, shoelaces. And now it's time to cut it off of the warping board. So I'll just snip the other threads and then off that end and you can see it's already starting to tangle I need to try to be careful of this so that it doesn't get too tangled there's probably a better way but in my case I have to put this away in a safe place away from the cats because the, yeah, because the cats will love to play with this. So there's a better way to do this, I just don't know it yet. it now I need to wrap I need to repair this and then I need to uh, wrap it again two more times with the uh, patterns and then I'll be ready to warp thank you for watching bye